Hey guys, welcome back to Banjo Tui on the No Talent of Gaming! Man, we like. I don't know we, why we, I'm doing that. Yeah, neither do I. We took like a big ass break from this game, and then now we're just like recording it constantly. Because we we don't have any of the equipment to do like the, uh, the non HD games, so we're just like, guess us fucking Banjo! We've been banjured. Okay, so last session we, we fooled around in um, the dino pterodactyl land. land. Oh! That's, we didn't actually explore the wasteland though, did we? Like this area of the hub? Nope. Let's take a look around. around. So Dave, how is uh, this bright and early morning treat? It's like 9 a.m., isn't it? Um, somewhere between 9 and 10, mm. which is fine. I got a pretty good night's ah. sleep. It didn't seem like you did, but... I'm a little... What? Two black gingos. That's racist. So wait, hold on. Before you do anything, which one is the real one? That, that one on the left is the real one, then. Okay, well, kill him. It's like, help, help, help. Just owning him. Let's see. Yeah, see, this is a real easy way to, like, solve the the, the, the twin dilemma. Just fucking kill one. <laughs> <laughs> Five and nine. But what about seven and nine? Man, what was that one... It was, I think it was in Star Trek. <laughs> okay, the you know you, you like show up and there's like two there's like two of a, of like a character. It's like he's the real one. No, he's the real one. And you gotta like and they start like asking questions of like who's the real one. Oh god, Dude, that, that that dilemma happens all the time. Yeah, but it, it's I believe it's what it started with the with the evil yeah. evil crew, the the alternate universe. Yeah, I know oh, that hello. in Star Trek, um, they. I think it was Odo. No, no, Odo was like the the fake because he was a changeling, right? Yeah. And Worf just shoots them both. <laughs> just like, I'll figure it out later. Just. Pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like Odo probably understood. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so he now, can survive that. This is Grunty Industries. So my, this, this is my this favorite like, level. This is. My but there's level another level that I noticed uh, a, a passageway to. Oh yeah, you can go back and check, check that out too. Yeah, I was kind of. I could see it in the preview which level it is, and I'm. Oh, thinking, do you know which one? Next one. Is the next one's going to Industries. Really? Yeah. Is there no way to get to the ice one? No, that's that's the second last. Oh, by the way, this isn't the snow level area. This is, is a, this is a different zone. Oh, is it? You need 37. It is I have 37. Oh no, 45 jiggies are required to open this door. This is World Eight. You do not have enough cave short Yeah. Mortal. I'm not mortal. I'm, I'm oh, no, the that, almighty banjo. I think it was that temple back by Jolly Rogers Lagoon. That was the one that was the ice area. Was it? Yeah. It's kind of... Oh, yeah, the great bubble elevator. Okay. Now, like... Okay, here. We were talking about this before. Now, like last session, I mean. Dave, you know that I like theming in game design, right? Yep. I like, you know, the, the fire world, the ice world, the grass world, the forest world. Well, you're a Mario kid through and through. Yep. Um, it'll be Clifftop. That, that, that is that. Yeah, so that, that's, that's how I am. Um, and I feel like the reason that, like... I was actually having, having this conversation with a co-worker yesterday. Banjo-Kazooie and Metroid Prime both have the same strengths, and Banjo-Tooie and Metroid Prime 2 both have the same weaknesses. And that is that the first game, the theming is extremely strong, and the interlevel connections actually are, are meaningful, but in their sequels, the theming is very weak, and the interlevel connections are not so meaningful. Yep, I can get that. So, yeah, like, this game, you have the Mayan temple, you have the, like, the gold mine, or like, the diamond mine, or whatever. Yep, the pirate you have, cove. Nope. You have like the underwater Atlantis, you have the, right. the theme park, and you have, um, what is this? Oh no, this is, this is the Grunty Industries one, so you have the factory, you have the, you have Hailfire Peaks, which is like, like a, a dual fire ice world, yeah. in the same, in the same world. Um, but look at Banjo, right? Banjo is grass, beach, desert, yep. winter. Um, haunted house, yep. um, and like the final world's like seasons. It's, it's like a it's like a unique kind of thing. Yep. The only the only levels that kind of suck with the theming are oh Clanker's Cavern and Rusty Bucket Bay, because they're very similar and they have no real theme other than the fact that they're brown. 
<laughs> and like metallic. You know, that's pretty. That's basically it. You know. That's pretty bland. Right. Uh, I just feel like the theming in this game is kind of inferior. Yeah, I agree. Okay, where are you, you bastard? Okay, there we go. I don't like what. I, oh, fuck. I don't like the, the puzzles in this very much. Not because I, you're fucking. No, awful. no, no. It's because I can't put down a piece and go and pick an, uh, another one up after I see the pattern. Oops. Dude, there's a is a bottom piece to it. Yeah, yeah like there's a, there's a straight edge. You gotta be straight edge, bro. Shut up. Is that last one? Okay, there we go. Oh shit. There, 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 yeah, there. yeah, you got like, you can do it maybe, and probably not. <laughs> oh god, here we go again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, you do realize you have to use the picture behind. Fuck the picture. That's why you're losing. <laughs> what do you know? Okay, blue. All right, all right, I'll do it again. Yeah, try and redeem your redeem your fucking self, Dave. But anyway, um, the levels in this game seem to have shittier theming, and they try to rely on like, and like the moves learned in the levels have less relevance to the level than they did in Banjo, mm -hmm. the first Banjo. Like when you learned to fly, it was a big fucking deal, and like all the all the levels use that shit, right? But like here, it's like, oh, you learned how to do clockwork kazooie eggs on the overworld. And it's not necessary. <laughs> it's like, okay, thanks. <laughs> thanks for that. You know what I mean? Like, oh, and the learning different moves, that's what gates your progress, not uh, note collection in this game. You notice yeah. that, right? There's no note doors. Yeah. You have yeah, to, like, learn the moves. You, you gotta get the moves, and then you gotta get the jiggies, and then you gotta get jiggy well, no, with like, it, and then... To, to go from the pine grove to the wasteland, you had to learn the talon torpedo to blow open the kazooie rock. Yeah. And to go from the wasteland to Grunty Industries, you had to learn the, the spring shoes to jump over that gap. Yeah. So, I mean, that can feel nice, because Metroid does that very well. But I feel like in a collect-a-thon game, it really should be the collect-a-thons that get you there. You know? I guess it's like they're trying to appeal to a broader demographic, but in the same token, they kind of alienated part of their original demographic. Mm -hmm. Which happens a lot in gaming. Yeah, it does. Dude, we're in Jiggy's Temple, we're doing it. It's gonna fucking orgasm out yet another blast of light. It's like I'm when I'm a kid and I got a magnifying glass frying ants. <laughs> so that's gonna open up this. Now, you don't wanna play this one today, but this is my favorite level in the game. And most people fucking hate this level. I think it's my favorite. Why? Uh, I, we'd have to like go into it, and I have to like tell you. It's, it's a game design reason. Oh, it's a thematic thing, isn't it? No, it's not even thematic this time. It's oh, just no? how, the how the level's laid out. Oh, game feel then. Kinda. Well, that seems to be your job. You are so. indeed the show. No, you you can go and do another one. Yeah, you can have enough to to open up Hailfire Peaks, which is the second last level. Very well. Yeah, there's one less world in this game than in. Um, and Banjo Kazooie. Uh -huh. Yeah. There's only 90 jiggies as well, not 100. Hmm. It was kind of like when I finally 100% of this game, I like looking at it, I was like, 87 jiggies. Man, I still have a long way to go. Where the fuck are all these jiggies? And I look up, I'm like, wait, there's only oh, there's only 90, not 80? I like felt I felt cheated, you know? Yeah. Should have been even. It just feels nicer, you know? Yeah, I agree. It's just one of those things. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Imprecise, imprecise. <laughs> and I mean, considering that there's more mediocre levels in this game in comparison to Kazooie, I feel like they probably could have put in a fucking another one. Like, come on, guys. At the same time, there's still some very good levels, too. I feel like Jolly Roger Bay is a really good level. That was fun. I feel like... Well, um, we're not technically done it, either. No, Witchy World was a really good level. This is a really good level. Grunty Industries is a really good level. Cloud Cuckoo Land, which is the final one, is, like, hit and miss. I don't know, I, I feel like if you wanted to make your game, like, not appealing, don't start it off with two bland levels back-to-back. -back. <laughs> like, with Mayhem Temple and with Glitter Gulch Mine. I feel like everyone should just follow the Mario. Do the Mario. <laughs> <laughs> do, everyone just do the Mario? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, yeah. I just fell into it. I feel but like... But it's true! They yeah. start with grass. They start with grass, and they have the underground, and, but, they, have, and they have ways no, to get to... No, no, with, with Mario it goes... Grass, desert, ice, um, sometimes jungle slash forest, cloud, 
basically in that order there's all the time. Oh, it's always underwater. There's always something underwater. Yeah. No, oh. Since New Super Mario Brothers Wii, they've had like the same eight levels themes in the exact same order. That's boring. Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, you kind of like, it's like, okay, I'm playing the grass area now. It feels, I'm playing, level two is always the desert. They're always you know? hitting the old amygdala. To attempt challenge not eight. Yeah. Challenge eight is what? Cuckoo Land? Yeah. Cloud Cuckoo, Cuckoo Land. Land. That's yeah. the final level. Need 45 jiggies for so it. So we're, we're getting on there. Yeah. Wow. We've opened up levels, the, 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 level, the third last and second last level. So are you gonna are you gonna do the ice the fire ice one first? You gonna play that one now? I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it ice and fire. Yeah. yeah, sure. Okay. Well, to the north. Rather than playing my favorite level, we're gonna go play Dave's fucking choice today. You fucking asshole. <laughs> well, I have relevance, so fuck you. Here we are, in Hailfire Peaks. So Lava side. this is this is this is legit like Valyria in the north, or I guess. Just split pads. I wouldn't. Here's the thing. Usually, split pads are there for a specific purpose, not to actually go running around. You you should probably just like explore. explore first and figure it out later. Yeah. Oh, this music's really good too. Listen to this shit. Oh, God's name is this. Yeah. Oh. Hey, I don't recall you paying for a tour of my volcano. I'm gonna burn your furry hide. Yeah, you gotta hide when, whenever that happens, because he's gonna start throwing ice at you. Or not ice fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, like, this level's unique in that it's both fire and ice. It's the lava world and it is the frozen world. That is pretty cool. Oh, also, do you recall from, um, from Banjo-Kazooie, our, uh, our camel friend, who's like, I'm gonna go meet you in the lava world. Yeah, Gobi. Yeah, well, here's the lava world. This is the lava world that was cut out of Banjo Kazooie. It didn't have an ice side; it was just the the fire side of it. Yeah. And they're like, oh, "Fuck it, let's just put it all together." <laughs> <laughs> okay, this looks like it's still be pretty molten. Oh! <laughs> well, he is. He's molten mad. That was so shitty. That was. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. What's in here? I don't, still the lava side, but you're inside of the. Oh no, you're you're up, up higher. Just moving up. Okay. Moving on up in the world, Dave. Moving on up. George and Wheezy. Oh, oh God. In molten. Oh, yeah, it's a flamey. Oh, you fucker. Yeah. Wow, that is... You just got to make the jumps, man. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, fuck off. As of recording this oh, today... Hello, hello, hello. Um, oh, nice. What the hell? You got to choose it, man. There you go, you did it. As of recording this session, um, the part of of uh, last session's banjo is coming out today, where we talked about the no no not last session's banjo last session the last Wind Waker in in the Earth Temple, where we talked about um, the reboot of Back to the Future that's inevitably going to happen. <laughs> and speaking of ice and fire, in it, camera lady put it, put in as the description. Um, Back to the Future, starring that guy who played Jojen Reed. <laughs> that was like her, because we were talking about who would who would play it. Her pick was that guy, as Martin McFly. What really? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Oh dude. my, Thomas Sangster. Isn't it Sangster? He's, he's like a double last name, Thomas Sangster something. I think. Well, his general. His name is Jojen Reed now. Right. Well. Anyways, <laughs> he is listed on. I'm going to be as Thomas Sangster. Okay. I mean, he has like that nerdy young guy look. I could see it, I guess. I, I, not, not, I, not, not I, my I first can't. choice, but. I can't. Oh, fuck! Everything's trying to kill me! Well, dude, welcome to one of the harder levels of the game. I guess I need some. No, you can't even kill them. You just gotta, you just gotta go through. Just go. Yep. Oh, fuck! And you. down you go! Oh. Wow, this is such a. Oh. <laughs> this level is fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> really? This is, you died? The, this is the doom of Valyria right here, man. Okay, in any case, like, he has. He wouldn't be my first choice, but he, no, he, he, my ha he has first the nerdy choice, young look. You my know? first choice, R.I.P., uh, would have been Anton Yelchin. I think he could have pulled it off. 
Yeah. He's got the fun. humor. He's got kind of a bit of that like kind of like pale, he had the pale, the freckles sort of thing. He would have been he, a bit on the old side. Yeah, he played the new, um, new Chekhov, right? Yeah, he was also in Fright Night. Did he um, did he complete his work in the new Star Trek before he died? Yes. Well, it's out. It's, it's already out. Is dude. it shit? Oh shit! Yeah, I didn't man. Know that. Uh, yeah. When did it come like, out? Like last week. Oh fuck! <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I guess they're not doing a fourth one then because he's fucking dead. Well, they just had to kill off the character somehow. What did he do? Just fucking own himself or what? No, he was um, kickball. He was he had his car in neutral and it was on top of a, of his driveway and he was trying to like open his gate and he was having trouble with the gate and it came it came flying down and it crushed him. He died in a freak accident. Maybe you should fucking put his car in park. Jesus Christ! It was in park. It just it was in neutral. Or wait, yes, never mind. Yeah, yeah. I think he forgot to put the parking brake on. Yeah, well, but like he wasn't he wasn't on drugs. He well, wasn't drunk. He and, got fucking yelched, I guess. Wow, that's, that's that's a pretty harsh thing to say. <laughs> oh fuck! God, this level is such a pain in the ass. Okay, that's it. He dies from eggs, though, not from yeah. Just just you, you just say from oh, he's still going, huh? Go to hell. That's what you do. <laughs> Help me! Shut up! <laughs> fuck you, buddy. <laughs> For nothing. Okay, I think I know what you're gonna do. Oh, can I grenade that? Yeah, one? just grenade that shit, man. Okay, I'm gonna move away first. So you don't blow yourself up. And apparently, I gotta make sure that that fucking thing isn't gonna do anything. Did it? What the hell? What's up with these random? Uh, the claw clamber boots. Yeah, it's how you it's how you walk up those those areas where you can see you going up. Do I have to be Kazooie only? Nope. <gasps> what is that? A, it's a switch? Or what? Oh! Nice. <laughs> Watch, it's, a, it's one of the fake ones. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be No, nah, it's a real one. one. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, they wouldn't be hidden like that if it was a fake one. Oh, God! <laughs> you chose this level, dude. I wanted to go to my favorite level, but you, I you chose... The, okay, I wanted the ice one. I don't. I don't particularly enjoy fire levels very much. I feel like he's st he's back. By the yeah, way, yeah, of course he is. He's an asshole. Uh, just head up the stairs to like the main main area of this place. Uh, yeah, fire hey, levels. Buddy. What the fuck is that? Oh, is that? Oh, it's one of those those bastards from yeah the Stonies. It's like hey. No, they don't. They're, they're they, you talk to them. They're NPCs. Hi. All right. Uh, no, not this again. Well, you, you gotta like transform into a stone to talk to them, right? Which means there has to be a s shortcut. Oh, oh, damn it! The promised land. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, this is the kickball tournament again, right? So they probably have, you probably have to like go to Mayhem Temple, be the stone, and then come back. I'm assuming. Are you absolutely sure, dude? Not in the slightest. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, apparently every level connects to every other level, with the exception of um, Cloud Cuckoo Land doesn't have any connections at all. Probably because it's like a, it's like the final, you know, they kind of keep yeah. it self-contained. But um, every other level connects to every other level, so you can probably go there, be a Stony, and come back here. That's what I'm guessing, anyway. Yeah. Do you think that they come from Estonia? <laughs> Fuck you. What, what time is it? We haven't been watching the time. It's, it's fucking 18, 16? 19. 19. Get your eyes checked. You okay, well, we're getting pretty close here. What, what, what's out here? Oh, that thing. Okay, next episode, Dave's gonna climb along the pillars. Aw, oh, damn it, Jess! <laughs> <laughs> Useless! God. <sighs> Way to set your gear back. <laughs> Excuse me? We just sent women back another 50 years. Wow, Dave. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dude. Fuck you, Dave. <laughs> Fuck. I know, Avery's probably gonna fucking kill you. me for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God.